In the Pokemon games, each Pokemon has one to three abilities. This adds depth to the Mon and can really define it, or have little impact at all. Not all abilities have to be amazing or broken, but there are some abilities that either do nothing competitively, have potential to do a little bit more, need to be tweaked a bit for balancing, or just cripple the Mon with it immensely. Some abilities have been altered before, like the recent changes to Own Tempo, Oblivious, and Inner Focus to block Intimidate. So today we're going to be looking at a few abilities that need to be fixed. We'll start off in that first category with the ability Runaway. Runaway has no competitive use, but in games it allows you to make a sure getaway from wild Pokemon. This includes if you're trapped by binding moves like Wrap or Fire Spin, or if you're trapped by abilities like Arena Trap or Shadow Tag. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So how do we buff this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Just make the ability Runaway work like it does against wild Pokemon. Any Mon with Runaway can't be trapped with binding moves, can't be trapped with status moves like Block and Mean Look, and a big one would be an immunity to Arena Trap and Shadow Tag. I know, I know, those abilities are pretty much always banned, but it's still a pretty cool situation to imagine. You have your Rapidash that gets a KO, and can't be trapped and revenge killed by an opposing Doug Trio or Gothitelle. Bye bye It would at least have some use in a VGC situation. I would also give an immunity to self-trapping moves like Jaw Lock, which only Mastiff would be able to naturally take advantage of, and Ingrain, which only Oddish could use that combo. Looking at the Mons with Runaway, almost all of them have an ability which would be better than this buff version. Dodrio might be able to use it over Early Bird, and Galarian Rapidash could use it over its other abilities, but outside of that it just gets outclassed by even average abilities. Now this is one of the most useless, boring abilities I've ever seen. I actually don't think I've ever seen this ability activated as pretty much every Mon who has this ability and would be on a Sun Team also has Chlorophyll. And the other Mons with Leaf Guard will have abilities that work outside of the Sun and they're just overall better. But man, I can't stop feeling bad for our boy Zarude. This Mon was going to be so cool and then they gave it an absolutely booty ability alongside a typing with 7 weaknesses. Oh my god! So what it does if you don't know, which I wouldn't blame you for, is prevents non-volatile status conditions when sun is active. So this means you can't be put to sleep, which most sleep inducing moves like Spore and Sleep Powder already don't affect the grass types that get this ability. You can't be frozen, which can't be done in the sun anyways, so you're left with burn, paralysis, and poison. Garganackle is laughing at Zerud when they compare abilities at the Pokemon meetups. <laughs> what we can do to at least make this ability semi-useful is to treat it like hydration for grass types. Now, Leaf Guard will prevent you from being status in the sun and will cure existing statuses in the sun. We will include the ability to self-status in the sun so you can rest and be awakened at full health at the end of each turn. What this could do is give mons like Tangrowth, Leafeon, Lilligant, and Zarud the ability to set up in the sun with moves like Growth, Swords Dance, Quiver Dance, and Bulk Up respectively, not fearing being crippled by status. They could rest and get back to full health to continue their setup or try to sweep themselves. We would also have to guess if some of these mons are running Leaf Guard over Chlorophyll. Come on, throw grass types a bone. They already have it hard enough. The next ability, which you've probably seen coming, is the ability Truant. Look, I know why Truant is a thing. Slack King is busted. I mean, check out those base stats. This is like box art legendary stats we were talking about. With an amazing move pool for being a normal type, and so many good status moves. And now this mod is consistently sitting in the lowest of tiers, rotting away. Truant only allowing it to move every other turn makes sense and fits the theme of this lazy Pokemon. But I think Slacking deserves better, personally. Will you ever see Slacking use any status moves in an actual competitive battle? Well, if you ever actually manage to see Slacking in a competitive battle, you likely see it using a choice item. 
It can still hit like a truck as a revenge killer, but a good prediction or any protection move for that matter can make slacking more of a detriment to use. Look how badass this mod is here. It doesn't even care and it's just tanking hits. And when it does try for a bit, it just destroys. Slacking! This is a slacking I want to see. So how do we buff this ability while not making slacking broken in the process? Well, I've seen other people's opinions where slacking should be able to use status moves during the truant turn. And while that is a cool idea, I don't really think it fits the theme of the mon and ability. Moves like bulk up, work up, and home claws are anything but lazy. If you played Radical Red, you may know that slacking can use healing moves during the drone turn. And while I think this fits the ability while keeping slacking balance, I just wanted to expand on that a bit. Truant will now allow Mons to use any lazy move on the turn it is active. The moves I consider lazy would be Slack Off, Rest, Sleep Talk, Snore, Yawn, and Amnesia. All these besides Snore can be taunted, which is a good counterplay, but there are enough options here to give Slacking some wiggle room. Slack Off was nerfed in PP like other healing moves, so heal spam wouldn't be as big of an issue. While Sleep Talk can allow Slacking to potentially use attacking moves on Truant turns. Yawn is a cool one, as it can forge switches, while Amnesia patches up Slacking's only poor stat in Special Defense. Do you think these changes would be enough to give Slacking viability in competitive singles tiers like OU? Drop a comment with your thoughts below. The last ability we're going to fix in this video is Zero to Hero. When I was thinking of abilities that just need a bit of adjusting, Palafin's ability Zero to Hero popped in my head. The ability allows a very underwhelming Palafin to transform into an absolute monster that will sweep your team no problem. What is the requirement? Just switching out and coming back in. Like come on, they didn't really give any real requirements. Like get a KO, go under a certain amount of HP. Staying for a certain amount of turns. Nope. Just leave and come back. They even gave it a pivot move to make it easier. It is essentially what Slacking wishes it could be, and it didn't last long before it was deemed too powerful for the OU tier in Band to Ubers. So how do we balance this mod while not neutering it to Slacking level? Well, I'm not going to destroy this mod, but let's just make it tougher to be in a Superman form. The ability will essentially work the same as it does now, but here's the catch. Each time Palafin swaps out, when it's in its hero form, it reverts to the zero form. This will reward forcing this mon out, and Palafin users will have to play a lot more strategically. In addition to this, I think we give the zero form a 15 to 20 point boost in its speed stat. This could actually give some use to this cute little guy. It will allow it to hit certain speed tiers the hero form couldn't, and in some situations, you may actually want your zero form to act as the hero by getting a crucial outspeed. I think this change sticks to the integrity of the ability while giving some balance and a new dynamic to this cool concept of a mod. So those are my ideas for some Pokemon abilities that need to be fixed. I'm planning on covering more abilities in future videos, so drop a comment of abilities you feel need some tweaking or complete overhaul. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you guys hitting that sub button and sticking around if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, buds.